Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be on this DIY all the time graduation cap. Now this is actually the graduation design I'm going to be using for my cap this weekend and I'm pretty excited. Alright, so let's begin. I'm actually not going to be making my design directly onto the graduation cap itself. I will be working on a velvet piece of paper that I bought from Michaels. Now the first thing I'm going to start doing here is actually making the measurements for my cap. Now to do so, I am just looking for the center point of the piece of paper. So here I'm just kind of measuring with the ruler, kind of going back and forth, making sure that it is exactly in the middle where I need it to be. Next thing I'm doing is going back around the dot that I made, just making sure that each end does measure up exactly in the middle of the sheet. Now the next thing is drawing two lines, making sure it's going through that dot that I did draw in the center of the paper. So it's kind of just making a cross from one end to the other. And once you have made that cross, you're just going to be left with four squares. Next, I'm just using a bowl I found around the house to make a circle around my cross. So that's one thing I really do like about this DIY is that I'm just using a bunch of household items I just kind of found laying around that just kind of fit the measurements that I needed. So first I found a bowl, then I'm just using this lid off of a piece of Tupperware. Later I'm just going to be using a bunch of pen and markers for the dot painting. It's just pretty convenient. It's not like you necessarily need to go to Michaels or any type of art supply store and buy those specific supplies. As long as it fits the measurements that you need, you're basically good to go. So at this point you should be left with what basically looks like a bullseye and then next you're just going to be making an X again running the ruler right through the center of the paper which is exactly where you pinpointed that dot right in the middle. Now this step is just going to be a little bit hard to explain just because you can hardly see it on the paper but what I'm doing here is just making a dot on the outer circle that I made on that little bullseye in between each little like pie slice. Oh, I hope that makes sense. Afterwards I am just kind of free hand drawing a little petal from the inner bowl circle that we made to the outer lid circle. So making sure that I hit that little dot that I had just made prior. So here, I hope you can kind of tell what I'm talking about. You can see the petals as um, I just described. Now the rest of the steps are basically just dot painting. Now for the first and the largest dot that I did make here, I am using the back end of a pen. Then I am going back with a marker which has a slightly smaller end and as you can see that's just kind of the pattern I'm going to continue with. Each time I continue a new dot is just going to get smaller and smaller. So the third one I'm using is just another back end of a pen that happened to be smaller. Now the following little um, tools that I am using are from a nail design kit that I did buy. but. Trust me, a bobby pin or the end of a push pin will definitely give you these same sizes as well. It's just kind of making the illusion of all the dots completely getting smaller as I kind of go inward into the circle. Now as I am reaching the inside of my flower, I'm just going to make two to three dots from the smallest tool that I do have. Afterwards, I am just going to start creating a circle, but not with the first dot completely reaching the inside of the flower. We're exactly following the bowl basically. I'm going to use that middle dot and then start creating a freehand circle. So if you are going to freehand it like I am here, you just kind of want to go uh, back and forth. Just kind of making sure you are making a circle and not another shape. Now, the reason for that is just because I am going to be adding a layer right at the center of my flower here. So kind of just covering up that big old pie that we made. And to do so, I'm just adding another layer of my velvet paper that'll just have my quote on it. 
Now the next step is starting to fill your petals. Now the first color I am going with, I will have listed down below, but it is the darkest red metallic paint I could find. And the biggest tip I can give you here when filling your petals is just to follow the dot pattern. You don't want to place it in between any dots unless you kind of want to make a psychedelic type of design. But here for a more kind of intricate, clean design, I am following the dot prior to it. Now the color I'm using here is the second darkest red metallic paint I could find. Again, that will be listed down below. And then the third one is the lightest shade of red metallic paint. Then following will be a light silver metallic paint. Here, as you can see, as the paints did get lighter in color, the dots did get bigger in size. So when I first started with the red, the darkest red, I did start with a small tool and as I worked my way up, my tools did get larger in size as well. Next thing we're going to do is start making the designs between each petal. So what I'm doing here is using my largest tool, which is the pen, and placing it in between each petal. Then I am going to start placing dots around the largest dot. And to do so, what I'm doing here is starting with the biggest dot on top of it and kind of decreasing the size as I go along. Next thing I'm going to do is start with the darkest red once again, following that same exact pattern, which is the ones kind of falling around the largest dot and decreasing in size. Now lastly is the outline of our cap. So here I'm starting with the largest dot once again, which is the back end of a pen, and just decreasing in size as I near the middle of the paper. So again, I'm just basically using all of the same tools that I used to make the outline of the petals here, and just using them in the same order as I kind of reach the center of the paper, you can tell that they are just getting smaller and smaller. Now this is where I have to apologize. I didn't realize that I wasn't capturing all of the steps, but here is basically the the finished mandala and I am just gluing it down to my graduation cap here. Now the last step I'm going to do is actually glue down my quote which says to care of business which I thought was super cute because I am a business major. So here um, my friend actually did this part for me just because I have horrible penmanship and did not trust myself to do it. But one thing you want to make sure you do is just kind of measure it exactly to the front of end of your cap. So you just want to make sure you know where the front is and you place it accordingly. And that's pretty much it. All right, well, thank you for watching everybody and please subscribe.